Hey, on the channel, we got a robot that knows how to party from Super 7 Ultimate Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. We got Metalhead. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Super 7 Ultimate unboxing and review and today on the channel we got a robot we got a metalhead but for all your metalhead needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free got to get a deal and of course we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there. And first off, we're going to start with the old cardboard mailer box. Uh, definitely a cool thing. It always protected the figures. Not a thing anymore. Cost-cutting measure. Makes sense. Rather have them cheap out on this than this, personally. Your mileage may vary. See you later. Goodbye. And now we get down to the old packaging design here. Usual slipcase cover. Metal head, of course. The robot with a heart of gold. Maybe a few misunderstandings early on. But then, before you knew it, he was vacuuming the sewer lair. Uh, but we got him here with, of course, the manhole cover with his little glamour shot in the middle. Green for the turtles, green for the good guys, classic turtle logo on the back. And of course, slipcase cover comes right off, just slides on out. See you later, like Larry Bird at the three-point line. He shoots, he scores. There it is, see you later. And then you got the uh, big old window box there. Now, I got to talk about the Playmates original version. I never owned that in my life. And as a little kid, I did not like that figure. And with a little kid, you can look past a lot of things. For whatever reason, that metalhead figure always stuck out to one I really didn't like from the Turtles line. So this one here is a little bit of a homage to that, so I don't really like it. I like it, but I don't like it. You know what I mean. It's just not going to be my favorite in the line, but it's a must-have in the line, especially if you're a completist out there. Uh, but I'm just not a big fan of this one. I do prefer the cartoon version that we got from NECA all day long and twice on Sunday. There you go. But it's got the Turtles logo right here looking good. Of course, the green brick throughout. We're used to that in this packaging. Getting used to it here in the Turtle Tuesday videos. We've been doing Turtle Tuesdays here for like three months now. Got about a year's worth of these videos to do. and We'll get to them all eventually. Make sure you do subscribe. Let's see what it says about Metalhead on the back of the package. The original Party Robot. Let's see. Designed as Krang's ultimate weapon against the Turtles, Metalhead was reprogrammed by Donatello to serve the side of good. The chrome-plated sewer servant's eyes light up when you hold him up to the light. Always the life of the party, Metalhead can whip up a whipped cream and jelly bean pizza, serve sodas, display video games, or rock the sewer with tunes from his jazzed-up jukebox. When trouble's brewing, Metalhead becomes one annoyed android and dishes out trouble with his robo-chucks and foot blaster. So a complicated individual is old Metalhead. And of course, when I th ever hear Metalhead, I go back to my G.I. Joe roots. I think of uh, Destro's main man, Metalhead, back in the day. See you later. Goodbye. And he's actually coming to the classified line in 2024. I'm excited for that. Lost ahead. Watch out. Watch out. But there he is, old Metalhead in the plastic prison. I'm going to take him offline, get everything uncorked, and we'll be back talking about that party robot. All right, let's get down to business with old Metalhead, the life of the heavy metal robot party at the end of the day. But let's dive into the accessories first before we dive into the figure itself. And of course, on brand here for, of course, the old school Playmates one, you get the weapons tree. Uh, you do get some of this going on. Of course, not going to take these off, just like all the other ones. This is a cool feature. Not really needed. This was later replaced in later figures in this line. They don't do this anymore. Got to say, very heavy. The heaviest weapons tree we've had so far, no doubt there. Looking good, if that is your thing. But now we dive into these accessories, and we're going to dive in with all these extra hands. And there's actually a lot of extra hands right here. Now, he does come with two gripping hands right out of the package, so he's going to grip some stuff. He also might throw a fist or two. We got two fists of fury ready to go if need be. And then you got two kind of splayed out hands as well. Very robot style hands, but also turtle style hands. He's got a turtle's kind of feel to him, but obviously he is not a turtle. He is a robot. But you got those black dots on the top of his hands. Uh, looking good with those hands. Now we got some specialty hands, like a young Inspector Gadget here. He's got the finger pointing hand with the, the lid kind of comes off his finger and this big old rope comes out. You got some of that. So a little quirky, like I said, Inspector Gadget-like hands there. 
And then we do got that nunchuck hand. So you remove the hand, put this in, and it's whirling nunchucks. Almost looks like a helicopter blade up here this way. Uh, but you stick it like this, and it is nunchuck. So you can use this as a hand. I feel like I'm going to have to use this one. It's uh, pretty cool. Gives a little extra personality with those nunchucks as well. So we do get those. We do get two grenades. Great accessories here if you need these for your G.I. Joes or anything else. But two just standard-issued grenades right here. Easily lost, though, I can imagine. So be careful with those. And we keep diving into here. We do get a big backpack for him. So an interesting backpack. You got kind of like a, a little uh, targeting practice back here going on. Uh, you got some dials and things green throughout. He does got two pizzas going on in here. So man, he's a versatile robot. No doubt about it, his metal head. Uh, but looking good with all the green. And then it's just like a traditional backpack. And it looks like it just kind of plugs into the back. Let's see here. We're going to plug it in. Plugs in there and then plugs into the front. So very easy to put on there. You just clip it in the front, clip it in the back, ready to go with that. And then you do get two accessories here. It's choose your own backpack accessories as we do get this, um, I guess, uh, sonar dish or something. You can kind of see what's going on. You can pick up messages, plugs right into the top very easily. And then same thing, you get kind of that nunchuck thing once again. Uh, up here on the top so it's got a little whirly bird maybe this is more of a traditional propeller could take him off into the skies if you need to but you can choose your own backpack accessory at the end of the day but now we dive into metalhead here let's dive into his head sculpts first two different head sculpts for him uh not terribly different in all honesty here now this one out of the package looks like it's uh I think it said on the back there that you could put a light here and it would shine red through his eyes you got a little translucent kind of brain up there on the head you got a little yellow bandana, and then you got those jewel-like eyes going on. Uh, green on the sides, gray, a little bit of mouth opening. The second head, basically identical. It really is. I mean, the color's maybe just a hair different, uh, but no real difference there outside of the top of the head. It's not that translucent light through going on. So really just kind of depends what you want out of your head there. But really, don't even know if you even really needed this one. If they were going to put a second head in, I'd go way different. Uh, too similar, if you ask me there. But now we get down to old Roboto himself. Roboto, I keep got He-Man on the mind, apparently. Metalhead himself here. Uh, but looking good. You got that gold turtle shell going on. Gold body, gold neck. Talked about the head already. You got yellow elbow pads on. No knee pads on him. Uh, but you do got a lot of that mechanical gray color throughout. He's got some wristbands here in green. Uh, a few Easter eggs here and there with some yellow and red pipes. Got a little uh, lightning bolt there on the forearm. Uh, some mechanical things going on, especially down at the knees. You got some piping out back. He's got turtle-like hands and feet, as we talked about. Robot version of the turtle makes sense. Of course, the green and yellow shoes, I believe he got these in the 88 World Series. A tough one. Kirk Gibson will never forget you, what you did to those Oakland A's. But I believe these were a giveaway at the old Oakland Coliseum uh, for the 88 World Series. Somebody feel free to fact check that if you want to. Shout out to Terry Steinbach, as usual. Great friend of the channel, as we do know. New old Minnesota zone. Shout out to Terry Steinbach. Uh, but articulation-wise on Roboto here, arms do go all the way around for us. You do get some mechanical bicep cut, single jointed elbows, side to side at the elbows as well. Hands removable, back forth, side to side. Head removable, back forth, side to side. Pretty good articulation. Nothing at the waist going on. Uh, you do get some of those splits there at the knee or at the um, thigh up here. A little bit loose in the hips. That's one big gripe a lot of people have had with these turtles, of course. You do get a bend of the knee, a little side to side. Uh, same thing with the ankles, back and forth, side to side, up and down. Uh-oh, not going to fit on a stand. He's got flat feet, so no holes in his feet to put on a stand. And he's actually a fairly tough one to stand. Uh, he's got that heavy shell and low center of gravity. He'll fall back on you. So this is one of those ones I really wish I had a stand for. He's going to be a different, difficult one to stand, I do believe. Yeah, it's a slow fall, so going to be a little rough getting him to stand. You might have to put a little sticky tack on his feet to put him on a shelf or bend him in a corner against the wall or something. Sometimes you got to do some of that kind of stuff. But an interesting one, but as I said at the beginning, I was just never a fan of this character's figures going way back to the Playmates days. This one, a take off the Playmates, just not playing a lot of hits here for me. It is this kind of what it is. It's not like they took some crazy artist uh, rendition of him or anything like that. It's just not my favorite character, and you like what you like, you don't what you don't. And like I said, I much prefer the cartoon version, which really is the NECA version, when all the dust settles and all things are said and done here. But good for what it is, and I think I got this for like $22 on Amazon like two, three years ago when they had that huge sale around Christmas. Finally getting around to unboxing all these ones here, but it did not break the bank, which is a good thing as well. Always got to get a deal out there if you can. But Metalhead, 
is what it is really at the end of the day here. Probably my least favorite Ultimate Ninja Turtle figure we've unboxed so far on the channel. Yes, I said it so far. So we'll see what happens next week at Turtle Tuesday. Maybe he'll be topped. We'll see what happens. But for now, that is Metalhead. What's your thoughts on this Metalhead? Is it a pickup, a pass, a long game, a no game? What do you think about this Metalhead? And how do you prefer your Metalhead? Cartoon or action figure style? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. So we got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over there on Patreon. Patreon, your best way to support this channel. And you get early access to both YouTube channel videos, bonus content, Q&As, giveaways, you name it. It's all going on over there, the old Patreon channel. And like I said, Patreon, best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel, press tease.com, search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media, Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Metalhead, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.